Howdy! I'm Cyberax with Owlishly Crafted. And today, we're gonna do something we're gonna work on. Attachable and armor and weapons and anything that's an attachable that Electra, you know, you know, animations. Now, Currently, UV attachable animations are broken, as far as we can tell. I spent hours and hours. I've been harassed about this. Hey, why don't we have UV animations? We want UV animations. Why don't we have UV animation? Well, I don't. They don't work. They're bugged out. We try. We try. It doesn't work. I. I don't know. It's been reported. It doesn't seem to be getting fixed anytime soon. So we did a workaround, and now I'm gonna show you how to do the workaround. Look at this armor. This armor is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, so how we're going to do this is we are going to jump into first into block bench so you can see what this looks like. We have an atlas here. Yep, yep, yep. And it's all set up, right? That makes sense. You got that. Everything makes sense there. You can watch other guides for this. Now we're going to jump into our bridge into the resource pack into our resource pack entity file. Now, there's a few things that we need to do differently than in the UV animation. In a UV animation, we would end up using a big atlas like this or like this with lots of frames in one file. However, that we can't do that. We're going to instead use an array. And in an array, we need to separate each of these into their own frame. So that means instead we're going to have 10 frames in separate files. Java does this as well. Bedrock and Java go back and forth on if they want it in an atlas or they don't want it in an atlas. It just depends on who's the leadership at the time. So what we need to do is if you already have that as an atlas and you need to separate it, then you come over here to this easygift.com place. Make sure you have your pop-up blockers on because there's a lot of them. But this is the best site I've found to just do this quick. So we throw our file in there. You know, we take our big one. We throw it in there. Uh, it, this is Sprite. Uh, I'm sorry, Split uh, Sprite Sheet cutter and I have a guide on how to take videos and make them to the gifts and then make them to the sprite sheets and all that but if you already have it in the sprite sheet the next problem you're gonna have is how do I chop these all up so you come in here you say the size 300 by 300 is what I've got I cut it out and then it gives it to me in a zip file okay so now we have all of our textures inside our resource pack okay now I'm gonna put them in textures models not textures entities because they're armor and that's the example mojang micro mojang moja micro has given us so i'm gonna follow their example because bridge forces well it doesn't force me but bridge auto detects from this folder and items when it's an attachable. So I've got all of my armor in here, each of my frames set up. Now I take those and I list them into my resource pack entity file. Okay, we got them in here. These names matter, we gotta know those names. So now that we've got that, we're gonna set up a render controller. And in our render controller, we are gonna set up just a simple array. And the array is gonna be for the textures. And in the textures, we're gonna have this array called item frames. So here are our frames, and this is the texture.frame0, which we did here. So textures.frame0, textures.frame0, right there. And we put that in, put that in, put that in, put that in, put that in. Ah, there we go. OK, 
Okay, so we've got an array of textures. Now you could have 50 of these, you could have a thousand of these. You no longer have that limitation in this solution. So if you wanted to make a TV, then you could literally just write a script and have a billion of these. Um, I don't think there's anything that would stop the limit on these, okay? So now, um, the magic, this is just gonna be um, a temp ver, and we're pulling that into this qual this query. So we're taking this life query, we're putting into this temp, and we're returning it into here, and then we're doing some math, and that's just gonna play this guy. It's using um, this array to get the total number of these. And then you can change the speed by the multiplier. So that's it. And by doing this, all of a sudden, now we can have animated armor. And to show you once again, it's just armor. That's it. Okay. So there you go. I am Cyber Axe with Outlandishly Crafted. And this has been a guide on how to do animated textures the alternative way because the normal way doesn't work on attachables. And I know, and you know, that we all know we want animated textures on our attachables. Are you kidding me? Who doesn't want a flame sword? I mean, hello, Mojang. What are you thinking? What, what, huh? Are you guys not in here developing these things with us? Because anybody at Mojang should be saying, hey, dudes, I can't get animated textures in my attachables, and I really want those. But it seems like nobody at Mojang like is is like creating things. Like that I, I don't know because animated textures on attachable seems like a very basic thing that everybody doing game development development thingies would want, but yet they haven't even, you know, re like it's been two years or something since it's been reported and they haven't even tried to fix it or even like realize it's broken so i don't know i don't know i'm just this little indie dev guy trying to make things work so once again i'm cyberax with outlandishly crafted and you can check out my website at outlandishlycrafted.com don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell and keep all of those overlords happy. You gotta do that. You gotta keep them all happy. And uh, thanks if you have any suggestions or recommendations. Please pass them into the comments. Um, this was uh, suggested by... It was a request by Zombie... Uh, abortion clinic was the one that uh, had the request and I came up with a solution for him and then one of his friends uh, you serious Barry 39 on YouTube you can go check out his channel uh, I'll even click the button and show it to you uh, he had the math uh, that math line was not something I have I'm not good at math I'm really bad at all these maths, so go over there and push that subscribe button on him and tell him thanks, because without that math, we wouldn't have this fancy animations on our attachables. So thanks for watching.